obviously it's been really hot in the uk it's been really hot in the uk yesterday was the hottest recorded day in history the hottest not well, not in history but the hottest of the year let's just say that i'm being dramatic right and i'm being a bit of a baby but it's been on record on record as being the hottest the hottest hottest day of the year and i've got to be honest i'm embracing my simp my cocky my pussified my baby my cry baby my emotional sense side, which i never have right i don't cry i don't believe in crying i don't believe in men get on the internet and crying i don't believe in men sharing their emotions or talking about how much trouble they're in or their feelings i don't believe in any of that shit right i'm a stern anti-believe in all that stuff but when it comes to the heat i turn into a big baby the two things i have a big baby on when i get cold right i'm like every other man out there when i get a flipping cold i act as if i've got a terminal illness and when it gets too warm and i start sweating like i am right now i get really uncomfortable it's weird because i've always been like this whether i've been big whether i've been skinny where i've been fit where i've been slim i've always been a habitual sweater and it's very troubling for me because i feel like sweat for some people signifies bo signifies smell signifies non-showering signifies just like an unkept rushy like you know that guy remember in school when you had that supply teacher that would come in sometimes and he'd like have no belt and he'd be walking through the class with his folders and like with no belt holding up his trousers and he's got that he's got that iron, you know when you iron your trousers too much and it creates that kind of a sheen on the seam he's got shoes like he's wearing like lace up low he's wearing like lace up hard sole shoes and he's got like um ankle socks he's wearing it with you know that type of guy i feel like whenever people see you sweat they just imagine that when really sometimes people like myself i'm not sweating because i'm you know i'm doing a lot of cardiovascular work or something i'm not sweating because i just ran after the bus or i just ran through flipping stratford station or i just ran across the motorway no i'm sweating because i just sweat but sometimes when people see you especially when you go on the train if you've ever been on the central line, if you've ever been on the Jubilee, if you've ever been on the Elizabeth line, overground line, you know, when you jump on that train and you're already sweating, people look at you like, rah, Ted. Well, I going for my guy. People look at you like, rah. People don't, people don't want to stand next to you. People kind of move away from you when you see you sweating. And it actually just, my body just creates this fucking extra liquid all over my face. I can't help it. It's not my fault. But summer exasperates that for me. And I detest it. I detest it for the fashion because I feel like men's fashion doesn't bang during the summer at all men's fashion in summer doesn't bang i feel like summer fashion is made for the girls and the gays that's the only people that look good in summer no other person in summer looks good apart from girls and gay guys no one else men look terrible in summer fashion clothes because all you do you just cut off your jeans that you normally wear into shorts all you do you cut off your t-shirts into tank tops that's not fashion for me that's dead. I'm not on that. And I don't want to wear some like fruity t-shirt to like seem happy. You know what people do when it's like summer? They start wearing t-shirts with flowers on it or like be happy or smiles. It's like go and dance on two of my middle fingers. I don't want to look like a flipping walking fucking, you know, etch a sketch, paint by numbers fucking illustration. I'm not on that in the slightest. So I want to hear, I want a parka. I want a double breasted coat. I want a leather jacket. I want some leather pants. I want some big Dr. Martin boots. I want some new rock boots. I want Yeezys. I want all this ga, 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 gargantuan shit, you know? I want to be like, you remember those, remember those AI things where they made out like, the Pope look like he was wearing some mad, crazy Moncler? I want to look like that. I want to look like the biggest fucking bouncer outside of some St. Peterburg club somewhere, just standing there, minus one weather, just like stern. That's what I want to look like but summer you can't wear that shit in summer summer you can't wear any of that shit summer you have to go around in like little shorts you have to get your feet out all this sort of nonsense and you just look horrible and you're never cool and in general apart from all those things that irritate me about summer it's living in this country people it's living in this country i'm not even the biggest pub goer i'm, I'm not even the biggest pub goer i'm not even the biggest beer drinker right and i hate it when I go to my le local boozer, when I go to my local cocktail bar, when I go to my local whatever, and they give you a pint in the warm glass. Yes, people, they're washing the pint glasses in fairy liquid in warm soapy, wa warm, soapy water. And then they're pouring beer that seems like it's been 
boiled in a fucking microwave and they're handing it to you on one of the hottest days of the year and you're sat there thinking why so much so these days i'm having to be one of those fucking hipster wankers i'm having to act like a tory i'm act i'm having to act like a tory i'm going to a fucking pub now and i'm asking them for a cup of for a cup of ice when i order my pints i'm like mate could i get a pint of stella please i could also get a cup of ice I'm, I'm having to sneak little ice cubes into my pint now, which dilutes it, obviously, but at least makes it a little bit chilly. I'm having to now, you know, embarrass myself in front of all the lads in the fucking pub who are looking at me and thinking I'm less of a man because I'm pouring ice cubes into my pint. But I have to do it because it's the only way I get a chill drink. I have no other choice but to put ice cubes in my pint glass in a pub. Can you imagine how embarrassed I might be? Can you imagine how shameful I am that I have to do that? But I have to. Why? Because this country isn't built for the heat. They don't give you chilled glasses. The pint coming out of the tap isn't cold. None of the drinks, even in the fridge, are fucking cold. Nothing's cold. The only place where you might be lucky to get a chilled drink, only place, only place, is a cocktail bar. And that might be because the cocktail bar might have a particular brand of liquor on on sale, that they want to display or they want to serve in the best way possible. It might be because they're probably social media friendly or just you know, they just understand how to serve the type of drinks. So they may, they may grab you a glass out of the fridge that's actually chilled. And you you have to be lucky too. If you order probably a Jameson, they're probably not going to give you a chilled glass, right? <laughs> in most cocktail bars. But if you order maybe a little bit more of a higher standard whiskey, you might get a chilled glass. But for the most part, it doesn't exist. Then, moving on from that, it's even worse when you go into the office. So if you have it to go in the office like I do, maybe once or twice a week to work with your other with your company, with your other colleagues and shit, you have the unfortunate nature where sometimes because of the change and the drastic drop in different temperatures going from, you know, Indonesia, Bali-esque weather outside here right now, then going into an office and suddenly it turns into a fucking snowscape, it can sometimes, guess what? Lead you to being sick. That's the other side of things. So you leave your house, which my house is a fucking greenhouse at the moment. It's boiling at the moment, as you can see, as I'm sweating at the moment, which might be part of the reason why I haven't been streaming or podcasting as much as I probably should, because sitting here, I'm just covering myself in sweat. I'm covering or sweat. I'm covering myself in sweat, not shred, in sweat. I'm feeling a little bit I- icky, even though I've had 17 showers in the last four days. But it's honestly the worst place to be in the world is the UK when it's hot. I don't deny it. I don't want to hear anybody argue against that fact. And that's why I'm one of those people that's going to stand by and I'm going to ride it to the end of the earth and say that I fucking hate summer. I will take winter over summer any day of the year. I don't care. I would gladly live in a place where it's consistently cold than live somewhere where it's consistently hot especially if there's no air conditioning in most places and there's no places where you can just get a nice chill drink no i'm not gonna pay six pound for two scoops of shitty ice cream from your little shitty van parked outside of a park somewhere i'm not doing that cool number two i'm not gonna drink a shitty warm pint at fucking crate i don't care don't give a fuck and number three I just hate being inside where all the places legitimately the walls feel like they've got radiators built in them. That's the thing about most buildings in the UK. The walls feel like they have radiators, some sort of heating system built into the plaster. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's what it feels like. It feels like when you touch the walls, they're going to be hot. It feels like you can literally crack an egg on a wall and you might be able to fry it. Sprinkle some sea salt on there, bang, flip it. And jobs are good and you can eat that for your breakfast. I swear to God. And I'm hating every moment of it. So much so, it's affecting my actual everyday life. I think the reason why I didn't go to Fold the other day, right? Fold the other day had a pretty sick party, right? That I didn't attend called Night Service. That featured a DJ that I really wanted to go check out called Kelza. Who I've been a big fan of from afar. I've heard some really good reviews about him. People online are sucking this guy off with both hands on their knees, spit, phlegm, the whole shebang. But he seemed to be like the next big thing out here and stuff. I went to go see Kelsa play. But honestly, I was thinking to myself, do I really want to go to Fold? A club where, even though it's not a basement club, it's upstairs sort of going in there. But it feels like a basement. There's no aircon. 
There's no windows, no air, no like it's just pure sweat box, which for a rave is amazing because everyone gets to take their tops off, everyone's sexy, everyone's cute, everyone's dancing, having a good time, euphoria, utopia, blah blah blah, excess, blah blah blah. But when you're heat conscious like I am, when you're heat conscious like I am, maybe going to fold on one of the hottest weekends of the year in the run-up to the hottest day of the year might have been not a good idea. And I'm glad I didn't because the following day was unfold too. So I probably would have gone to two parties back to back. I couldn't do it. And I'm happy I haven't, which is probably why you haven't seen many reports on here about me going out to certain places. You haven't seen no field reports of me going to Berlin and shit because I'm avoiding, even Berlin is probably worse than London when it comes to the heat. In Berlin, the, the summers are real. Like the, it is really fucking hot over there. Fair enough, they have a different culture around drinking and shit. And you do get a lot of like places that give you pints in chilled glasses. That's very important. But for the most part, I'm actively avoiding all the places that I love, nightclubs, European techno destinations and everything else in between because it's just too warm and I'm missing out on so many things I'm missing out on seeing my favorite DJs. I'm missing out on dancing. I'm missing out on going woo 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 I'm missing out on chilling hanging out with strangers sharing people's information on Instagram and then never messaging them again I'm missing out on all of these amazing adventures just because my body cannot handle the heat and sometimes I think to myself Sometimes I think of myself. How did I used to handle it before? because in the past in the previous time in my life, I was known as an MDMA bandit. In the previous time of my life, I was known as an MDMA bandit. So much so that on any given weekend, I'd have three and a half grams of that brown, sugary, crystally dust in my pocket somewhere on any given weekend. And if you've ever had MDMA before, you know the highs are very high, but the lows are very, very low. So to be doing that weekend after weekend consistently, it's pretty wild that my brain is still intact in some way, shape or form. But I'm thinking about it more on the sweat aspect. When you're an MDMA, you sweat, right? As for being, um, what's his face says, pop the molly, I'm sweating. It's true. So I can't figure out in my head how I was able to live in this heat summer, right? In London, also do molly and go out and be sweating the way that I sweat. Cause I sweat like this normally. So imagine me on stuff. I'm extra sweating. Like, you know, it's just like juice coming out of my fucking pores. I must've looked so disgusting. But in my head, when I'm remembering those times, all I remember is myself looking cool, looking very dapper, looking very suave, looking very like, I just, I just imagine myself looking amazing. But when I actually think about it and the circumstances around my outgoings and what I was doing, there's no way I looked good. I must have looked like an absolute mess. I must have looked absolutely wild, like a monster. My eyes darting around the place, my jaw swinging from east to west, and me just like leaking, literally leaking. Like at the like the only good thing, the only good thing at the moment about this heat wave, the only good thing about this heat wave, the only good thing is the gym. When you go to the gym now. I found, especially one of the gym that I go to, it's pretty decent in terms of aircon. They do a good job of it. But in general, because of the heat, you tend to sweat a lot more. And I love the satisfaction of taking off your shirt or your hoodie and shit and seeing the massive sweat patch on your back or on your chest and shit from you actually putting in a good shift. I love it because I'm a big believer in never trying to overcomplicate your workouts and just try to increase the intensity of it. So it doesn't matter if you're doing, you know, push-ups, sit-ups and squats just at home if you do them with intensity that's much much better than trying to figure out some complex plan of what to work out with and going crazy no no, no. just pick really work just pick workouts you can do easily without much help and then make sure you do them with intensity and nowadays because it's so warm if you do just fucking you know i don't know a set of 100 push-ups in the gym somewhere like for 10 reps each you will sweat like an absolute pig which is very satisfying for me after the workout so i'm enjoying that part of it but having to cool down having to spend a good like half an hour in a chair covered in sweat to cool down before you jump in the shower not a good thing i've also got this issue at the moment with my shower which is like i have to probably get a plumber to come in the tap because i've got a bathtub that also has a shower that's most, that's kind of how most UK, no, I'll say most UK. Yeah, i say most UK homes are like that. You have like a bathtub and you also have a shower installed. So the tap thing to, you know, run the shower, unfortunately, you can't really turn it cold. 
so it always stays warm. It's not like boiling hot, but it's just warm. So I'd like it to turn cold, but I'm afraid if I turn it too much, it might snap or something, you know? So I have to get probably a, a plumber to come in and maybe recalibrate the turn of the tap so I can easily like turn it from hot to cold. Because at the moment, I'm having to cool down my body temperature before I get into the bath or get into the shower. But when I get into the shower, I'm not having an ice cold shower like I would like to have. I'm having a fucking, you know, <laughs> a, a warm shower, which considering how much I sweat isn't the right thing. But regardless of all of that and all those complaints, I'm happy to see people on the streets happy. That's a good thing. Most people in London are always scowling, always angry, always upset. The UK is the home of bad vibes. So seeing some people out there happy and having a good time is a good thing, is a good thing, is a good thing.